let's talk about a really powerful way to use our imagination today on Awakening with Amy. Hi, welcome. I'm Amy Valentine, Certified Life Coach, hoping to awaken within you a mindset that you can be, do, and have any desire. Today, we're going to talk all things Neville Goddard, the power of our imagination. And not just in theory, we're going to talk about a powerful use, how we can use our imagination to have more of what we truly desire. So this is based on a lecture from Neville Goddard called The Pruning Shears of Revision. In this lecture in 1954, Neville talked about our, the, uh, the mind, our, our mind being our garden, and how we use that garden, that mind, is our imagination, whatever we're imagining, whether we're aware of it or not, is what we are going to live or what we're living, right? He said, the way you tend to that garden is your purpose in life. You want to tend to your garden of your mind and prune away anything that feels unlike love. Anything that is not pointed towards your ideal for yourself, for others, or for the world. He says, you want to prune it. And how do we prune it? How do we pull those weeds and prune the, the, the garden, all the, the stuff that's growing in the garden? Well, he calls it revision. Revision is like the cure-all. It's the basis of change within. He says, to try to change anything outside of ourselves, whether it's a person, a circumstances, he said, is basically, it's, it's futile. It doesn't last. It doesn't work. It doesn't get to the root cause. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, pulling a weed without getting it from its root. That weed just keeps growing back. So the garden is our mind and the our purpose, like he said, is to tend of life, is to tend to that garden. Pruning is about detaching, literally cutting off the unwanted ways of thinking. So I'm not about trying to get rid of or fixing. We're talking about revising things in our life versus resolving them. And why is that powerful? Because when we revise, we're taking that energy right now, what we're doing with our imagination right now, and that's gaining momentum to create our future. But when we put our energy, our mind on, you know, trying to resolve things, fix things, figure things out, now we're pouring all our energy into the unwanted circumstance, and that energy just keeps it keeps growing. It keeps giving us more of what we don't want. And we, you know, we're all programmed to believe that we have to resolve things and fix things and solve things. But again, we're using the power of our imagination, that energy in that moment to focus on unwanted. And you cannot, like Abraham says, you can not focus on two things at once. You can't focus on unwanted and get wanted. It's impossible. So this revision technique of Neville's is a powerful way to use your mind, use your imagination towards your ideal. So how do we do it? He said the pruning shears of revision goes like this. At the end of your day, you want to get into a relaxed state. Just whether that means, you know, just taking a few deep breaths, whether it means laying down while you're in bed, or just sitting down in a chair that's sort of like a dark room, anything that relaxes you. Take a few deep breaths, and then he says, review all the day's events from a non-judgmental perspective. Just be the observer. 
then he says, anything that came up as in your review, in your daily review, he said, revise it. Revise any situation, whether maybe, you know, you, you got into an argument with a coworker. Maybe you got mad while you were driving to work. Maybe you were in a meeting and somebody said something to you that made you feel inferior. Whatever it is, rewrite the, each event so it matches your ideal. And then he says, practice the ideal, the revised version, the edited version, until a feeling of naturalness comes over you. He said that feeling that until you feel that it has tones of reality, almost, you know, kind of like, um, you know, like when you're dreaming at night, right? Sometimes dreams feel really real, like you think you're in it. It feels so real that it's, you don't even know it's a dream, right? That's what he's saying. Practice it until it's, and it, don't practice it like it's your job. This is just a soft touch, a light touch. So, and Neville has a quote and he says, when I speak of feeling, I do not mean emotion, but the acceptance of the fact that, desi that the desire is already fulfilled. Think about the power of that. He's saying when we revise it, we're not making that, we're not changing the situation that happened. We're literally hopping into another possibility. We're literally jumping into another script, so to speak, right? Because A Course in Miracles says all scripts are written and the one you're living is the one you're focused dominantly on, right? So everything is available. So think about revision as your connection to an alternate reality, meaning the way you would have preferred things to go. And this is your power. So Neville said in this lecture also that you cannot be free and not forgive. And what he said, the essence of revision is really what scripture meant by continual forgiveness of sin. And to sin means in a metaphysical terms, to miss your mark, to not hit your goal, your ideal, right? So continual forgiveness of sin, revise any event in your day. He says, or you won't be free. Because what happens is when we start you know, practicing belief or complaining or just, you know, venting. What we're doing, we think we're getting rid of that energy, but we're not. We're, we're focused on it, so we're creating more of it for our future. And Neville is saying revision is about forgiving the day, forgiving other people, forgiving yourself. And it's not forgiveness like, because they did something wrong to you. No, he's saying forgiveness is forgetfulness. And and when you revise it, rewrite your day, you're forgetting how things were and you're putting your mind and your focus and tending to your the garden of your mind towards what is lovely and in good report, right? In harmony with your ideal or the divine mind, right? The divine mind, God, source energy, only ever sees your you as your ideal, only ever sees others as their ideal. So devil, using the power of our imagination, using this revision tool every single day, literally is retraining our mind to see the good. And so more good must happen in our life because Everything that is in the outer world is just a mirror reflection of what's going on within. So I encourage you to tend to the garden of your mind without judgment. Understand that forgiveness means forgetfulness. And until you forgive yourself or forgive a situation or others, you won't be free. You'll stay in bonded to that negative energy or to that unwanted energy. Right? So 
The power of revision. Practice it. Try it out. Test it out. Let me know how it goes. It's something Neville talked about a lot, and it is so, so powerful if you embrace it. So I encourage you to embrace it and test it out for yourself. Until next time, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing the video. That's how we get the message out there. Thank you for your comments. I love them. And thank you for subscribing. And until next time, have a wonderful day.